Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tiny Blue Games. My name is of course Seesaw or Chris, and today we're playing Final Fantasy XIV in 2019. Now, today we're going to be talking about grand companies and free companies, because over the past week I've joined one of both, um, and it's a feature that I haven't really explicitly talked about yet, so I think it's a really cool one to get into. Uh, before that though, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I really like making this video because I know it's going to come out Saturday morning and there's really no happier time than then to watch a video on YouTube, so I hope you're having a great Saturday morning and getting really amped up for the rest of your weekend. Uh, but with that aside, let's get into it, because I'm really excited to talk about this. Um, I thought it was a really cool way that they went about presenting the grand companies. You kind of go and hear a speech from each of them, and then you choose out of the three which one you want to be. And I'm not sure if this is like a permanent decision or if I can change between the grand companies later on. Uh, but the main reason I chose the... Um, the Storm Officer, uh, the Maelstrom, uh, Mael Maelstrom, Maelstrom, um, I'm so bad at pronouncing things and I, I'm super sorry, uh, but it's for the city, which um, I find to be just absolutely glorious, and I, I don't know if the other two are there or not, but this is where the speech for this one happened, and it's where I was doing my fishing, and I'm always just such a sucker for kind of a by the, by the ocean kind of city, so... I was really liking it. Uh, the city I'm talking about, and once again, I'm sorry about pronunciation, is Limsa Liminsa, I think is how you would say it, and I'm sorry. Oh, and I wanted to share this. So this is when I first got here. Um, listen to this ambience when you walk into a crowd. This is like such good atmosphere. I can't believe how cool it was. Like I was just playing and I had to stop and be like, hey, I want to take a video of this because it is so cool. Just the, the bustling and like the feeling that you're in a, a really busy area. And I mean, on top of that, look at how many freaking players there are here. It's crazy. Uh, but I, I just loved it. I loved walking in to that crowded area, feeling the congestion, and then walking back out into the, the quiet side streets. Uh, so this was definitely a big reason as to why I chose to go here. I just thought it was a really cool place to have as a headquarters. Um, so yeah, here we are. Um, this is the Quartermaster area, and you can see our little fancy boat logo up there, which is pretty cool. Um, I like their little uniforms. Um, I, I, maybe it had to do with them being red as well. I don't know. There was a lot of little factors playing into my decision, I'm, sh I'm sure, that I just you know, you never really know why you make choices in life. They just kind of um, happen. But there's always little factors that are in the back of your mind that are kind of like, choose this, choose that. So, but yeah. Anyways, I was really happy with the the way we get introduced to grand companies. Um, I, I think it's a really cool system in general. And it's something that I'm kind of familiar with. Uh, for those of you who've played Guild Wars 2, um, and this is, I always compare different games when I'm talking about, you know, how something's similar to another. Uh, but in Guild Wars 2, there were these three, um, and I think it was three of them again. Um, they're called Three Pacts, I think. Uh, but it was like the Vigil, uh, no, they're Orders. There's the Vigil, the Order of Whispers, and uh, the Priory, the, uh, the German Priory, I think. Those might be the three of them, and I might be wrong. It's been a little while since I've done the original Guild Wars 2 uh, living story, but there was three of those, and you got to join them very similarly to this, um, and you would kind of work with your own specific order um, to progress things. So I, I thought it was a, a really cool, similar thing. Uh, in, in Guild Wars 2, what eventually happens is the three orders need to work together and form the pact, um, which is then used in the expansions as the the army of the people to attack the elder dragons um, I don't know what the uh, end goal is with the uh, the grand companies here. I have a feeling that they still um, are separate from each other uh, But I don't know like are they at war with each other? Are they friendly with each other? Um, I haven't gone too much in that. Can you change grand companies eventually? Can you be a part of multiple? Um, I kind of doubt that uh, but it, it's a really cool system, and I think Final Fantasy XIV, like pretty much everything else it does, 
goes a lot more into detail of this too. Uh, for instance, you have a rank within your grand company, you have the ability to um, upgrade your rank, to um, purchase things with these seals that you earn. Um, there's actual like daily quests for crafting, for um, just providing different materials to earn these seals. There's like fates and like there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff um, to actually do to become more involved with your specific grand company. And I, I think that just adds a ton of more new content to the game, which this game already has so much content. Uh, but then with those seals, you can go and purchase different cosmetic items, um, as well as materials as well. But um, as you go down here, and what's even cooler is a lot of it's actual gear that you see the NPCs wearing. So. Um, you get to really look like you fit in, <laughs> like you're a part of the club, right? Which is super, super cool. Um, another thing I like is that it actually uses the uh, rank system to uh, limit what you're able to purchase. So you can't just save up and purchase like the, the top tier thing um, if you're not one of the top ranks. You actually have to be like, I, I, I didn't look at the rank names, but... Um, let's say like a, a captain or something like that um, to wear a captain's cloak or something like that. So it's a really cool system that um, would allow people in game to then demonstrate how much work they've done with this grand company, how involved they are with the grand company and how cool it is, right? So I think that's such a cool thing. Um, I think it's also like a really cool community thing because um, Everyone here that's sort of chilling out here is probably in this grand company, so you have the ability to ask them for specific help with different questions um, and to just interact with them. Another really cool thing that um, I'll talk about in a second a little bit more is that in your free company, which is your guild in this game, uh, it does list, you know, who's in what um, grand company, um, which is a pretty cool thing. Like, it's just a, a different... Uh, unique part of your character's journey, right? And that's so much what MMOs are about. It's about shaping that unique journey and making it uh, different for each player, um, for each time you go through it, for each different adventure. It, it feels like a different story, right? So really, really cool. The other part of this that was quite exciting and will be talked about a bit more in a future video, which is super, super exciting, um, is you do get your, your first mount um, through your grand company. Uh, that's initially what I was trying to save up seals for um, and I actually <laughs> I did a lot of work trying to get these seals and then I went and did the the very next main scenario quest gives you like 300 of them which is more than enough to get them out um, so if you're doing this for your first time just do the next main scenario quest and you'll be all set for that mount um, which it's always the rule you know when, when in doubt just do the main scenario quest and you'll be good to go but yeah, the second part of this video, we're going to very quickly talk about free companies. These are guilds in Final Fantasy XIV, which is super cool. Um, guilds are very similar to guilds you see in any other game. Um, I'd say this is one of the systems that actually works the most similarly to other games, as far as I can tell. Um, it was very similar to what I would see in World of Warcraft or something like that. Um, the guild I'm in is called Forge, or at least that's the, the little tag name. Um, and it was actually really cool because I, I joined it in the way I, I usually join a guild is I was just AFK in a, a big city and I came back and there was a, a guild invite, um, which was really cool because no one really knew me or anything like that. Like I'm, I'm not by any means famous, but there are people who whisper me and stuff and are like, hey, I like your videos and stuff like that. And as much as I'd love to be in a guild with all of you, I'm kind of the worst person to have online because whenever I'm making videos or something like that, I'll often switch my chat to uh, the combat or battle chat rather, and I won't reply to things. And I'm, I'm just, I'm not the best person to have as a friend online. <laughs> um, but like, not that I would never, like I'd, I'd always want to be friends with you guys and join your free companies and all that. It's just... I'm, I'm sometimes a little bit lackluster, um, and I'm sure they're already probably frustrated with me not really talking very much when I'm on, but there we go. Um, but yeah, so if you're in Force and you're wondering why I never talk, this is why. 
Uh, but yeah, so this is the uh, UI sort of for it. You can go around and see the uh, different topics, the members, the ranks. Um, there's actions which are really cool. Um, for instance, you get like 10% experience gain uh, for battle, for crafting, for uh, gathering. Uh, so it's a pretty beneficial thing to be in a guild, especially if you're someone who's trying to level, um, which, I mean, you're always trying to level one of those things. So super cool. Um, there's some other ones such as uh, reduced um, travel rates between, uh, what are those crystals? Between the crystals. You know, the travel crystals, the things I didn't know about for a while that are super important. Uh, so that's something. But there's there's some pretty cool perks that you get just, just for being in the guild. I'm not entirely sure um, what amount of work it takes for the free company to actually keep those running or not. Uh, but definitely beneficial for the members. And then you also have the info page, which is really cool. Um, which has the entitlements, what we're looking at right now, uh, which tells you what you're allowed to do as part of the guild, but also the company profile, which I think is the cooler part, um, which gives a brief description. It shows you once again, the kind of your standing with each of the uh, grand companies. Um, and then it tells you the focus of the guild, what, you know, what primarily people in this guild are gonna do um, and what they're seeking and stuff like that. So this is a very casual guild as well which speaks very well to how I like to play the game. But yeah, ultimately very excited about the free companies and the grand companies. This is like most of my videos, just sort of the scratch at the surface. At the surface. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys will have a whole bunch more to say in the comments, which I always love reading. Uh, one of my favorite things, for instance, in the fishing uh, video that we just did, as soon as I post it, the first comment is like, hey, you can have a light on your fishing rod. And I was like, well, great. There's, there's something new for me to try. Like, I get so much knowledge from you guys. You're so great. Um, I truly do appreciate it. And I'm sure anyone else starting Final Fantasy XIV appreciates it as well. So thank you for watching, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next. Have a great weekend.